And so it's developing and will continue to develop all through the day. And if you can see those bits of debris, they're large. That's If you can see it, it's large yeah. because the World Trade Center is so immense and you can clearly see things falling. A lot of speculation whether or not it was an accident or maybe a suicide bomber. Not... Uh, not out of the question these days, so there they it is. They say it was a jet. Eyewitnesses are saying that it was a jet. Um, not, a, not a large commercial jet, but a small jet. But you can see it's a very clear day here in New York. We had thunderstorms last night, which kind of cleared out the area. It actually turned into a beautiful early uh, fall day. But there you go. This is the worst thing I've, I think I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of an ill-fated uh, building down there. They've been through a lot. A few years ago, they had that uh, bomber go well, in there with the truck. Well, it's such a target because yeah. it is su such a so well-known uh, symbol mm -hmm. of America and New York City, and and so it can become a target. But I, I I pray for those people inside. It's just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. So we will update you uh, continuously throughout the show as we find out more details about this. Light plane crashed into one of the towers of the Twin Towers Trade Center down there in Battery uh, Park in New York uh, City. So anyway, we go on now. And uh, how are you? I'm, I know you're in shock. But... I'm really in shock. Yeah. I've never, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know. But they really, really had to quite a quite a storm last night. Lightning bolts yes. coming down, you know, and uh, it really was. Something. I I made it just inside, just in time. I was with the kids, and we. Um, oh my gosh! Something. There's a close-up view, I something guess. Something just exploded. Maybe that plane had something in it. And there's a uh, phones going off. Are we getting an explosion? There was an explosion inside? there, huh? Yeah. You can see the, the flames. Uh, when something like this happens, it's such a, an, a mass destruction, you have to wonder about, of course, the, oh, it looks like both buildings. That's both buildings. This is the next building. Jumped now. over to the next building, huh? Um, the fuselage, exploded. The fuselage exploded on the plane and. And shot into the next building? Leaped into the next building. This well, is just. The worst. Yeah, just yesterday, uh, the other day, we were talking about the the job the New York City and every city's fire department has, and this is going to be a tough one because that's almost at the top of that uh, building. There are so many people in there. Um, I, I, and it would happen, you know, right after the workday begins. Right usually after the workday begins. Morning, yeah, you know. but it, this is New York, so it. Um, well, you know, everything we'll just, starts earlier we'll here. We'll just have to continue here, but we will continuously bring you uh, updates on that I just on that feel story. sick to my stomach. I really do. Yeah, I, I feel sick to my stomach for those people in there. It's just the worst thing I can imagine. Um, so, thunderstorm last night, yeah. And I almost stayed home to watch it because the lightning bolts were coming down, you know. I and, made it just in time. Where were you going? I, I was coming home with the kids. Um, Michael had to get a, a lunch box for his first day of school, which is today. Yeah. And uh, he wanted a, a Tigger lunch box. So we had Tigger? to go to the Disney store and get a Tigger lunch box. And uh, so he's funny. He's having this whole renaissance with yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Isn't that, isn't that nice? You know, I remember my first lunchbox. It was a brown paper bag. <laughs> I think mine was too. But yeah. now even the paper bags, they have characters on them. And, sure. And you know, they make the paper bags nice. So he likes Tigger. He likes Tigger. So we got one of those nice, soft, insulated ones that he can roll up and fold and stick in his um, book bag. When the sandwiches are when out, the you sandwiches mean? sandwiches are yeah. out, yeah. And what did Mommy make for him to take in the lunch Well, bag? today today is only, it's what they call the phase-in day. So he only goes to school for an hour. So he didn't need his lunchbox. But I didn't know that until I got home with it. <laughs> You know, you got to get on top of the kid's schedule. I understand. You could have been struck by lightning out there. I know. <laughs> we, I, we literally just missed it. I had both the kids. And Michael, of course, when he sees me uh, pushing Lola in the, in the carriage, he wants me to carry him. Mm -hmm. So I've got, you know, one on my hip. I've got the, the shopping bag. I'm pushing the baby. And uh, by the time I got home, it, and it was, it was as if, uh, you know, 
God, like, God just saved saved us because as soon as I stepped in the building, the rain Whoa. came down. I said, oh, thank you. Really, thank really. you for waiting that extra 25 seconds for me to get in the building. We went out to dinner last night. We went to Il Tonello, one of my favorite restaurants you here You talk in about it Oh, I love it. I love it. And, and in there are mm -hmm. all the ABC mm. national sales managers and general managers. Yeah. Any reason? Was oh, I don't know. There's a big party going on there. You know, they're whining and dining like, uh, like uh, you know, they're a hit. And so um, uh, we had a lot of fun with them and uh, we had a good time. What's going on, Julie? You want to go back to it? This is going to be the kind of a show where we'll have to keep going yeah, back was, and forth. Uh, I guess it's being said that a second plane hit the other tower. Oh. That looks, sounds like deliberate to me. I mean, I hate to yeah. say anything on, on live TV. A third plane. Oh, oh, yeah, this is really something. <clears throat> three planes. How many, Gilman? Two no, or three? We, I don't, we don't know. Right now, that was a replay of the... Yeah, that was a replay of the second one going into the other tower. Wow, I just can't believe what's happening here. Why don't we go to commercial break? Why don't we go to a commercial break, regroup, and uh, get, our, uh, get uh, the story straight, okay? We'll be right back in a moment. billboard up there to explain. We're back now. It's kind of a confusing day, as you know. Uh, all eyes are on the World Trade Center here in New York City. The uh, Twin Tower, one of the Twin Towers, both of them have been hit now by, by planes, light planes that seem to be deliberately flown into the buildings. We don't know that for sure, but that's the way it looks from here. We'll go back and show you now what is happening here in no New lie. York City as we continue this live show. And I'm sure we have um, the shot of it. Now, that's the wide shot of it. You can see live shot in the tower. And there is the other plane that went right into it a few, just a few minutes ago. And that's the second plane to hit that, those buildings. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Somebody had to plan that. So we don't know any, uh, any report of any casualties at this point. The story just developed about 20 minutes ago. Both uh, towers now have been hit by light planes that have seemed to be deliberately flown into the building. It's very frightening. Yeah. Just, the, this could be the worst tragedy uh, to ever, I, I'm sure, to ever strike New York City, certainly. Well, the last bombing of the Trade Center was pretty, pretty gruesome, too. Can we join the last But there you go. Um, it's kind of difficult to continue the kind of show that we do here every morning under these circumstances. So we'll stay with this for a little while. I'm sure all, all uh, the networks are on this story right now, preempting us in most parts of the country. So we'll just uh, follow this for a little bit and maybe tell our own stations to get ready with a, what we call an evergreen show in this business so that we can fill out the hour with another show that we have done in the past. I Any wonder... more information about this? I'm seeing if we can join the live uh, WABC Channel 7 news cut in and hear what's going on. Sure, why don't we do that? I wonder if maybe the people were able to evacuate those people in the other building. My watch. Oh, for... Can we do that? 8.48 in the morning, uh, that was about, uh, what, 24 minutes ago. Uh, within the first crash, 18 minutes later, a second plane went in, and I would imagine we certainly don't want to speculate at this point, but questions immediately arise as to some type of navigational material or electronics that perhaps went awry that would cause two planes oh, within no. 18 minutes. <laughs> Uh, this is war. There's no question about it. These are deliberate attacks. Well, let's certainly not go there. Uh, it's 9-12. We, we don't know anything more than what we can see right now. Those are flames. Those are smoke. Both twin towers engulfed at the top. One fuselage we thought uh, had exploded after sticking inside one of the twin towers. Then we come to find out after looking at videotape that you have seen here several times that a second plane has hit the other twin tower. Both twin towers in New York City right now 
fully engulfed from the top floors up, smoke looming. Um, I, I would certainly hope at some time, folks, we can go to John Del Giorno because John knows a lot about flight. Is okay. We're just I'm just being told that uh, our electronic gear that transports John's voice signal is located at the top of the World Trade Center. So that's going to be a problem getting to John. If John wants to feed us any information through our producer's desk via phone, uh, certainly, John, I could use the uh, the help here on, on your knowledge of flight. Um, information that we have right now, that is certainly speculation, but it's, it is all that we know, is that uh, two planes have made contact, one with the North Tower, one with the South Tower. Uh, we don't know how many people are injured at this point. We know that fire and medical personnel are on the scene. We know that this is probably one of the worst tragedies, certainly, that New York City has seen since perhaps the World Trade Center bombing. Uh, we know nothing about whether the people got out of the second tower before the second bit of contact. Uh, Dr. Jay, can you add anything from what you see, sir? All I can say, uh, Steve, is uh, that I, I can see both. Uh, I can see at least one tower billowing smoke. I'm seeing the same Im images, actually, that you're seeing from the helicopter right now from uh, uh, Chopper 7. And uh, I can't add anything more because I can't get a, a better view than you're getting right now from the helicopter. Okay, uh, if we could may even make a plea to, uh, if there is a, a commercial pilot that is perhaps watching our broadcast at this time that might be able to shed some information on um, what may have gone wrong, what could have gone wrong, what he might have seen uh, in the second jet contacting the second tower. Of course, pictures aren't available. The first accident, which occurred in the north tower, the second, as I'm told, is in the south tower. If you're looking at another live picture from Newscopter 7, Dupree, Flames... I would hope, and certainly you would pray, that during the first contact that the second tower was evacuated so that when contact made with the second plane that went into the second tower, many of the people out of there were out. Eyewitnesses. Okay, we're going to go to a piece of videotape right now. Better You're listening to Steve Bartlestein, the WABC-TV news reporter, and this Channel 7's coverage of this uh, disaster that's happened at the Trade Center here in New York City. We'll all watch it together, okay? Happening mid-air there after making contact. The fact that part of the plane got through there would suggest that it was not direct impact, but perhaps a wing or part of the fuselage. There is, there's the new pictures. That is a new picture of the smoke billowing from the second explosion. Uh, eyewitnesses tell me, and this of course is not confirmed, that only one tower was involved the first time, and that the second time, the second accident, is when the other tower got involved. You can see debris, much of it flying left, right, looking like eerily similar of a fireworks display. Both towers, look you look at live now, black smoke billowing. Uh, I mean, handed some information right now. Uh, the World Trade Center was built to withstand full force impact from a Boeing 727. That's the largest plane in the air at this time. Uh, Jim Dolan handing that, us that information. And that was at the time when it was built. So at worst case scenario, the Boeing 727 at that time could run into the World Trade Center and it could survive and withstand the full force. Those obviously were smaller than the Boeing 727. There's another look from news. For those of you that might be traveling that are watching this broadcast, LaGuardia Airport and Kennedy Airport are now closed. Both those airports are closed. The FBI now is reporting to the Associated Press that this is foul play. This is not an accident. The FBI has told the Associated Press that two planes that have gone into the World Trade Center are not by accident, that it is foul play involved. I speculated earlier and certainly questioned earlier that perhaps navigational equipment might have been disrupted or harmed that would cause two planes to take such a tact. John Del Giorno, who is one of our flight experts, he is a News Chopper 7, and uh, John, good to have you on the line. John, what can you tell us? John, are you with us? We are currently hovering just uh, north of Midtown Manhattan. We're over the west side of Manhattan here at 79th Street, looking south towards the World Trade Center. 
just an absolutely staggering sight as both towers of the World Trade Center are currently billowing in smoke. The chronology of events as we've been hearing them right now is that at approximately 8.45 this morning, an airplane traveling from north to south right. struck the north tower here of the World Trade Center very near the top, near the 80th floor from what we are hearing, creating that gaping hole that you see in the north side of the building. Shortly after that, as the first building was engulfed in planes, in flames, we were on our way to the scene and we witnessed a second airplane from what I believe in my experience to be a Boeing 737 strike the south side of the second tower, the south tower, and that is the second row of flames that you see here. That airplane appeared to hit a little bit down the building around the 50th or 60th floor. Again, it struck flush, flush into the south side of the South World Trade Center building. And this is actually here, appears to be debris that has passed through the building and is currently on fire. As far as air traffic in the New York metropolitan area, we can tell you what we're hearing from air traffic control is that all operations at the New York airports, being Newark, John F. Kennedy International, and LaGuardia Airport, all air traffic operations has been suspended. As far as other aircraft traffic right now, us included, we are being kept at a distance of five miles from the site of this absolute disaster. We cannot get a good look at what is happening on the ground, but again, initial eyewitness reports from the scene stated that actually very little of the debris from the airplane fell down to the street. Most of it appears to be embedded in the buildings here, both World Trade Center number one and World Trade Center number two. John, can you hear me? John Del Jordan, we might have some problems, they told me, with communication. Can you hear me, John? Okay, John can't hear me. Uh, of course, you might remember February 1993, the World Trade Center bombing, and uh, that to that point was perhaps one of the worst disasters in New York City. Uh, worst acts of terrorism, to be sure, and as you know, terrorism attacks normally happen in twins. Uh, this certainly, as the FBI has already confirmed, is a terrorist attack. It is foul play, the FBI has told the Associated Press. I'm just being told that the New York Stock Exchange is being evacuated. That word from our Money Scope reporter, Jill Bennett, New York Stock Exchange is being evacuated. Uh, Murray Bergeram High School is being closed. Bellevue Hospital, I'm being told right now, is now the command post for injuries. Bellevue Hospital is the command post, that's all we know right now, to handle injuries, to handle the triage. Uh, LaGuardia, Kennedy airports have been closed. I have not heard a word on Newark airport. Uh, 8.45 is the time of the first accident. We've had it about three, within three minutes.